What's up, you guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, we're gonna be talking about prison slave labor. What companies use prison slave labor? What is prison slave labor? What are the rates inmates are paid to make these things? I'm gonna break all of that down for you guys today. For those new to my channel, I'm a recovering addict who has served time in prison, and I will leave more stories in the description box down below of my journey in and out of prison. I have also made a video about private prisons and what that looks like, and I will leave that video on the card up here as well. So. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So what is prison slave labor? What does that mean? Essentially that means inmates are forced to work for very, very little pay or they're threatened with segregation. Now, this is across the board. In every single prison across America, every single able-bodied inmate is required to have some job. Now, there are specific prison jobs that inmates do not get paid for that are a requirement of prison to keep the prison compound running. Those include laundry, uh, working in the kitchen, being a porter, um, which means like you clean whatever area that you're assigned to, library, beauty shop, which is fancy word for haircut room, um, you know, there's, there's different jobs that, that inmates need in order to keep the prison running. Those jobs pay zero dollars, and if you refuse to go to your job, you will get put in segregation. Now, there are certain companies that outsource to prisons in order to get their products made. The list is astronomical. Now, before we break that down, the kinds of jobs that we're talking about are kind of brutal, and there are a lot of jobs that the American people a lot of times don't want. They are long hours, they're factory kind of jobs, assembly line kind of jobs, um, no benefits. These kinds of jobs Americans don't usually want, right? When you're on your feet for a long period of time, um, sewing something or you're on an assembly line, pouring in sweat, it's not, those are not ideal working conditions for anyone. But these are the kinds of jobs that are sourced to the prison population. Now, I have a friend in federal prison right now. He has made everything from license plates to American flags, military equipment, and he gets paid pennies on the dollar to do so. And the reason why no one is talking about that or no one seems to care about that is because they broke the law. Now, there is an entire population that believes that if you broke the law, it doesn't matter what happens to you. And they're out of sight, out of mind. They're, they're stuck in a building somewhere, they're stuck in a prison somewhere, and who gives a shit? And if you don't believe me, if you don't believe that people really think like that, please go to my BuzzFeed viral video on how to make prison pizza, or go to 4-9 and see me talking about prison hygiene. The comment section alone will make you disgusted. The comment section will make you so angry. Those people commenting all over Facebook come in by the thousands, you guys, by the thousands, to tell me that I didn't deserve a tampon because I broke the law. Those people on Facebook that has commented on my viral videos, it is just disgusting, the things that I have had to read. Absolutely disgusting. For men, from women, to, to tell a woman that she doesn't deserve a tampon because she broke the law is the most disgusting thing I've ever heard in my entire life. Could you imagine telling a man he doesn't deserve toilet paper because he broke the law? He would punch you square in your face. I honestly can't even believe that some people have said that to me, but it has been said to me hundreds of thousands of times. Don't like it? Don't break the law. Hundreds of thousands of times. But I digress. So these companies outsource to prisons for very cheap, AKA slave labor, so that they can get their products made. So let's just break down a little list of all of the companies that have used slave labor. Victoria's Secret, Walmart, Starbucks, Nintendo, Target, Wendy's, American Airlines, Whole Foods Market, McDonald's, IBM, Boeing, Nordstrom, AT&T, Macy's, Sprint, JCPenney. This is just a very small list of companies that use prison slave labor. They're paying a minimum of 23 cents an hour and at maximum $1.15 an hour. So why are we talking about this now? Why is it relevant right now? Now I've made videos on the past about private prisons and, and prison jobs that pay nothing, but it's even more relevant right now 
because of Black Lives Matter, because 73% of the inmate population is people of color. 73%. And they're getting paid pennies on the dollar. Are you pissed off yet? If not, you should be. Prison advocacy groups estimate that prison labor is over a billion dollar industry. Apart from private companies, the government benefits from this too. Some states rely heavily on prison labor income, so much so that some states advertise for it. And it's all advertised on save the taxpayers money. This is saving the taxpayers money. It's good for you. Don't worry about what we're doing over here. Don't worry that these people are forced to work or they will be shoved in segregation and they will not be able to call their family, see their family, get commissary, have any rights at all. Don't worry about all that. Don't worry about the grotesque working conditions. Don't worry about that. It's gonna save you money. It's good for the economy. It's good for us. So don't worry about all those inmates that we've shoved in a hole somewhere and completely forgotten about. We all know that slavery ended, but when it did, there was a huge decline in labor, but there was an abundance of prisoners. And that is where prison labor comes in. Did you know that freed slaves often got arrested for not meeting their crop commitments? I strongly advise that you guys not take my word on this, but you do your own research on this. We have cultivated a system in our country that keeps people that break the law down. We have created an entire money-making machine built around private prisons and prison labor. It is a disgusting way to keep slave labor alive. The reason why once you break the law, you're always a felon, all of your rights are taken away, it all stems back to this. If you were there, you were a able-bodied person and you were going to generate them revenue. Now let's talk again about private prisons because I kind of glossed over that a little bit in this video because I did make another video on it. Private prisons are all about improving their bottom line, but they market it to you as we're saving the taxpayers dollars. They're doing so in a very dangerous way. The way that private prisons save you money is by hiring less guards, by training guards very quickly, which is very, very reckless, and by limiting the supplies of inmates or medical staff, they do all kinds of dangerous things to improve their bottom line and to make money. When you don't train a prison guard properly and you put them into prison, they are at risk. When you hire less staff to run the population, those staff members are at risk. Now you guys know I'm always an advocate for the inmates, but it is equally important that we protect our staff as well. We need to pr protect correctional officers. And when you pay them less money, they are so vulnerable to inmate manipulation. They are so vulnerable to inmates asking them to bring in drugs, a cell phone, food, whatever they want, alcohol. And if you think those things don't go on, you are very sheltered because every single prison in America has cell phones, drugs, anything that you could possibly imagine. The American people should be very embarrassed of our prison system. It is a horrible system, a corrupt system, a disgusting system. It is a system that operates through slave labor. It's a system that sexually abuses women and beats and victimizes men. It's a system designed to keep you in prison. It's a system designed to keep you going back to prison so that the government and so that these companies can continue to make money off of you. So even though the 13th Amendment in 1865 abolished slavery, it didn't abolish it entirely, meaning that prison labor can be used at will. We desperately need prison reform in this country. We desperately need to end the war on drugs, which is complete bullshit. And we need to start rehabilitating these people there's absolutely no reason that America in 2020 should have the highest incarceration rate per capita in the world. There's absolutely no reason why we should still have modern day slavery. Now, the American people seem to get upset when jobs are outsourced to a different country, but they have absolutely no problem with prisoners doing the work because you shouldn't have broke the law. I can get riled up about this, and I can yell on YouTube about this, but I encourage you all to do your research on prison slave labor and maybe don't support the companies that still are using it today. And the list is so long. So please do your research. I'm gonna end today's video here. I really hope you guys learned something from this video and I hope it inspired you to research this and to fight against this. It's 2020. We desperately need change in our prison system and we need it yesterday. I love you guys. Stay safe. Stay sober. Do not break the law. And I will see you in my next one. <laughs>